Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, the channel or my diary, I guess you could call it. Uh, I just got off work and I wanted to check in on uh, the weight loss and everything that's going on. My face is red because I got sunburnt. We've had some pretty nice weather until today. Um, but the carnivore diet, it's uh, it's been going pretty good. But as you saw in the title of this video, I had a little bit of a cheat day. I um, woke up last Saturday, or actually Friday night, I, I looked at my wife and I said, you wanna just go out to eat tomorrow? Just go have a day, just a cheat day to where guilt-free, enjoy herself, have a good time. And she looked at me like, and uh, so we did. We went out and I had a chicken burrito bowl, which, you know, for the people that don't do carnivore, that's really not that bad. It was yellow rice with some chicken, some avocado, a little bit of cheese, some other veggies, and uh, black beans and some stuff like that. And it was it was really good. Um, but after that, we went to a local bakery and we splurged. Uh, we had some donuts. I had a chess bar. Listen. If you don't know what a chess bar is, all I can say, it's the epitome of a slice of heaven. It, It's my favorite dessert. Um, I used to get one at this place anytime and every time we would go. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so we had multiple donuts, iced, filled. I mean, we bought six, we did a half dozen and they were gone by the end of the day. And um, let me tell you, I could tell within 20 minutes of eating the first donut that I was going to be miserable. I, um, I got a severely bad headache um, to the point where I was squinting my eyes. I felt horrible. Um, oddly enough, I was never bloated. I never really felt like stuffed. We actually ate dinner that night, um, made a carnivore pizza, <laughs> but it was weird how fast the sugar and the carbs and all the different ingredients kind of like kicked my hind in. At one point we, we went to uh, Sam's Club and we're walking around and we get in the car and we sit there and I was just, I was holding my head and my wife looked at me and she goes, oh, you feel real bad. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And so after Saturday, you know, right back on the wagon, it was a planned, um, I've heard some people say a, a, a planned off plan day or something like that, but um, it was interesting to see how it affected me um, physically, like how I felt. Next day, right back on the wagon, um, you know, eating pretty much just beef. I've been eating a lot of beef lately, beef and eggs. Um, and a little bit of shrimp. If you follow me on Instagram, like I always say, you would see the things I eat. I literally post every food, every meal that I eat, except for the cheap meal, um, on my story every day. And uh, so I didn't really worry about it. Uh, you know, and, and it's interesting how different um, my perception of food is now. Um, three months ago, I would have freaked out the next day, jumping on the scale, wondering uh, how much weight did I gain? How what? How did this affect me? How did? But you know, I let it ride. Like I said, it was planned. I knew I was going to do it, and I knew if I had gotten on the scale, I wasn't going to like what I saw, and I wasn't going to be happy, and it would have just caused depression, anxiety, and other kind of issues, and I didn't want to deal with that. I, I enjoyed what we did while we, you know, were having the food. I didn't enjoy the aftermath. And that was what I learned from that day. Fast forward to yesterday. Today is Wednesday, the 6th. So yesterday I got on the scale because um, I hadn't weighed since my last update video. So a little bit over two weeks. And I was like, yeah, I'm probably not. I'm probably still the same. Y'all... I lost seven pounds since the last time I weighed. The last time we did a video, I was 329 pounds. 
And even if, you know, because in that video, and you can check it out up here, but in that video, I talked about how I had weighed the day before and I was 325, but then that day that I did the video, I was 329. Yesterday morning, or actually yesterday evening, I was 322 pounds. That's crazy. I would have never guessed that after that Saturday of just eating, um, that I would still have been down weight. It doesn't make sense. Someone's gonna jump in the comments and they're gonna tell me it's because your body went into, I don't know, metabolic survival mode and burnt whatever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know the biology behind it. I don't know what happened or how it happened, but I am appreciative that it happened. Um, so still been going to the gym. The cheat day didn't affect my normal routine. I get up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I got up a little late this morning, but I still went to the gym and I go and I work out and I lift weights and some days I walk um, on the treadmill, some days I do the bike a little bit too and none of that's changed. So I'm still going to the gym, I'm still trying to work out and then now I'm working full time and I'm getting anywhere from 15 to 16,000 steps a day. Right now it's 450. <laughs> I've only got about 10,400 today. That was because I was in the shop working most of the day. But still, I'm really happy with the progress. Not only the progress on the scale, but my mental progress as well. And that's something that a lot of people, yeah, they talk about mental clarity and they talk about, um, you know, not having brain fog and things like that. But just the way that this experience is... Um, kind of evolving my relationship with food. Three months ago, I would have not been able to have that extensive of a cheat and been okay with it the next day and jumped right back on the wagon. Three months ago, I would have had constant anxiety the next day. I would have probably made myself fast for you know an entire day not eating um, or something like that. And you know, someone, um, that I watch a lot. Will Tennyson, if you guys work out, you've probably seen his YouTube videos if you watch stuff like that. But he said something that kind of spoke to me where he, he said, don't, if you have a cheat meal, don't punish yourself the next day. Just go back to your normal routine, fall back into the routine that you're used to and that you've done, you know, for however long and just leave it behind you. And, you know, a few months ago, even a few weeks ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So, did cheating help me lose weight? I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna say yes, because then I'd probably wanna cheat all the time. So, still moving forward, still sticking with it. Uh, I'm gonna go home and eat some ground beef and maybe some eggs, and uh, that'll be my OMAD for the day been doing OMAD a lot so all right guys that's it that's the update that's uh that's how this thing is going 322 pounds puts me four pounds away from my lowest weight ever doing carnivore and I can't wait to hit it uh I'm starting to feel better I'm starting to kind of notice differences in the mirror um certain things that I'm seeing in my body um even muscles in the gym I can I can see things changing um so yeah, real excited. I'm happy. So how are y'all doing? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. And uh, we'll see you whenever I feel like doing another update video. All right. Thanks guys for all the support. I appreciate it. Y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thanks. God bless.